Okay, what I have to show here is the Steel Battalion Controller. Um, I've worked on this in the past. It's actually one of my earlier projects that I first actually released to the public. Um, the main difference here is that before I did this as a software approach, I've done this time as a completely hardware approach. So you see here, this is a TNC 3.6. I also have this working on TNC 4.1, but it can't emulate an uh, Xbox controller, that one. So here, I press the reset button on that, and you should hear the initialization sound in Windows of it reconnecting a USB device, and you saw the flashing lights. I, I put that just a quick little thing to show that everything's working. You could literally plug that into the power adapter, like a USB uh, power adapter, and it would do the same thing. Um, other things that are at the hardware level, literally the, the that steel battalion controller, talking to TNC and back, never has to do anything with the computer, is this, the light, the right stick is actually emulating the directional pad, which is useful in this particular game and in a lot of games actually, because the Steel Battalion controller has this kind of weird right stick where it doesn't come back into the center. Um, it was just very, it was useful in the original game, but like 20 years ago, but not as useful for most modern games. Um, other things that are built in is that here on the left hand side we have the gear lever and it automatically the light turns on depending on uh, where you leave it. I don't end up using the gear lever for much, pretty much anything because it's kind of sticky, it's kind of hard, it has a lot of friction and it's because it was basically a sliding resistor. Um, other neat things that I'm able to do right now, particularly on the TNC 3.6, is it is emulating an Xbox controller uh, specifically but mainly an X input device and it's intercepting the rumble commands that are sent from the computer, from the game, to the uh, what, what it thinks is a Xbox controller. If you have a commands that would activate the left motor, they come up here. The commands that activate the right motor, you'll see all these flash. Left motor kind of does a, uh, from left to right, lighting up and lighting down. It's kind of a cool effect. Um, between all these, it actually makes the game kind of come alive. It's kind of neat. Um, I'm not, this isn't a game that I play very often, but I like Vox Machina. Uh, pronouncing it right because it's perfectly set up for this type of controller perfectly set up for this type of uh, situation so uh, another neat thing is because of the way it's set up I can actually navigate all around the main menu and this little light here initially I did this kind of a gimmick it actually helps a lot to be able to see where where you're currently located and what you're currently triggering so right now we're going to go on and create a game um, I also have the leftmost pedal set up in the original game uh, Super Battalion was for jump sliding left and right. Um, for this one I use it as a jump pedal, so it imitates actually pressing B. So we're gonna go on to offline practice. As I said, I'm not particularly great at this game. I think it's on Serpent, so hopefully it's a good level. Let's see, Serpent Planes. I'm gonna go on and launch. All right, you see it flickered for just a second. Big rumble, low rumble, a little bit of light coming through. All right. Get most points in five minutes to win. Yeah. Now I go and move forward. And you'll see a bit of a rumble there. You, you see rumbles when you when you uh, just start moving forward in this game. Uh, left stick. I'm, I'm using the sight change. There's a little thumbstick on the left stick to aim. Moving the whole stick left and right um, helps you navigate or turns the turns the grinder. I think it's the in the game. You'll see occasional flickers there for the, the rumble. Um, on the right stick, if I move to the right. Jump just to the right, left, forward, back. If I press the jump pedal, my leftmost pedal, you see now I'm jumping in the air. And I think I see that over there. You see the big flickering when I fire. So let's go see if we can take something down. So not the greatest at this game, but. Press the thumbstick here. Uh, brings up that zoom panel. I wasn't properly aligned for it. Ah, get out of the way. Oh, I see some other people. Yay! 
I meant to go backwards, <laughs> I press the jump pedal. I'm gonna go shut down. I think that is the ignition. I think that helps in this game to bring down the temperatures. Let's see there on the right hand side. Um, if I press this cockpit hatch button, I believe that pulls the foghorn. I can look around in the cockpit here too. So, uh, the game does have VR support, so let's go on and boot back up. Oh, good time to boot back up. Uh oh, they're taking me out. Probably shouldn't have shut down, man. So I think we went through everything. Um, I think it's pretty neat. It went from being barely playable five years ago or something when I did this to actually I think you can have a pretty good time here and all the lights coming up makes the game come alive. Thanks.